we, uh, you know, my, my friend Emily here was mentoring with me. Um, she, uh, we, we've been talking about how like the stories that we create, you know, we, we, ha we can tell all these stories about what's true and like how they shape us, you know, like you get your heart broken in love and you can, you can tell yourself like, you know, the story of, oh, you know, that person left me when I was in the middle of the hardest time of my life and, and that's what people do, they leave you in the hardest times of your life or you can say, you know, we didn't work out and that's an easier story to carry with, with you throughout your life, so. I've been trying to pay attention to the stories I tell myself, so I, so I, I know what I'm getting shaped by and have some control over how I'm shaped. Thank you. Um, anyway, thank you to everyone who brought me here and put energies into bringing me here and uh, Radha's name ever into a graphic journal. Like, um, it's like even the aliens read it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I believe in aliens too. Just so you know, it's exactly that I'm not going to go with it. <laughs> I will write a poem about it one day. Nobody will believe it. They'll think it's a metaphor. Okay. <laughs> uh, last poem of the night. Uh, art is it's saved by... <laughs> She has the words, uh, don't swallow the art in your mouth. So Ooh. never swallow the art in your mouth. Um, and uh, so art, art, that's what it's about. Uh, thank you. Uh, oh wait, I should say, I think that we have an email list. I don't know if we have CDs. We have CDs and books left. Um, yeah, and, but anyway, sign the email list because I feel like I'm in this state all the time. Like Illinois, like, I'm always here. It's crazy. There's so many universities in like, different places that I come to, but um, thank you. Alright, my uncle Billy. My uncle Billy is the leading little Debbie snack cake salesman in all of North America. From Miami, Florida, to Vancouver, British Columbia, nobody sells more fudge rounds, Swiss rolls, or nutty bars than him. My family is incredibly proud of this fact. We tell it to strangers, to the respective husbands of our nieces, to the clerk at the drugstore. We whisper it in church. Did you hear about Billy? Yeah, he's the leading little Debbie snack cake salesman in all of North America. And I will never write a poem that will ever come close to matching the grandeur of that. So you want the Nobel Prize picture? That's nice. Then you get Billy put five hundred cream pies in the rack of the shop and take it in five days. That rack was freaking empty. <laughs> Why is art the first class to be dropped at any public school? Why are music rooms empty in junior highs from New York City to Nashville, Tennessee? How can you burn CD after CD after CD, both within your tank with an infinite amount of gas? That the war is worth funding, but music isn't. Our culture is a prison, and the only one with the key is little Emmy Jones, covering every inch of her standardized test with the best number two pencil version of a starry night anyone has ever seen. And yes, there is a hummingbird in her chest, its wings are beating 80 times a second. For the second you and I will see that Dr. King did not write a speech called I Have a Dream. He wrote a poem called I Have a Dream. Y'all, I don't know if God will ever have a purple heart, but I know we have a bow. We could pull up the strings of a combat boot, make it sing like the eyes of a seven-year-old boy, staring down the barrel of apartheid's loaded guns, screaming for the right to write stories in his mother's tongue, point me in the direction of glory. I will run towards a tiny ant in the most wounded corner of Palestine, to pick a brush into a can of yellow paint, to paint a feather on a wing on a wall that is so tall, only yellow birds can escape. Can escape, but when they do, they can be the hearts of children on their backs, and when their wings flap, they make the sound of anthems being replaced with sky. And I swear, I could see the shadows pass across your glowing face the night you said you have never given birth to a child, but you tear every single time you write a poem. We are growing our future with every borrowed pen. I pray tonight we will write a rain that will fall like the tears at Folsom Prison, the day Johnny Cash smashed his guitar over Apathy's head, the way for the column, in the prison of her own body, had whole years when she could paint nothing but red, but she painted through the bars and the low cells of her pores, the same way saxophones in New Orleans played music underwater, knowing some of those notes would rise up to the air, carrying people and hope to shore. I don't believe in the godliness of steeples, but I believe in the stained glass, and every key on every organ that is desperate for light, because we are desperate for life, for the sight of a captivated audience.
minds, refusing to be held captive in the thought that they can only listen and watch Picasso City paint with his own wet tongue on the dusty floor of a jail cell that he had to. We have to create. It is the only thing louder than destruction. It is the only chance the blocks are going to break. Our hands full of color, reaching towards the sky, a brush stroke in the dark. It is not too late. That starry night is not yet dry. Thank you.